Planning on going to Rome? Roma bellissima. Good thing I've never been. I'm just playing. I got you covered. This is my guide to the eternal city, Roma. How's it going guys? This is Mitchell from Mitchell Travels and I hope you had a great summer. Lord knows I did. And if you've been following my Instagram, at Mitchell Travels, you'll know that I started my European trip at the eternal city of Rome. And today, I'm gonna to talk to you all about Rome. And as usual, I'm gonna tell you where to go, what to do, where to stay, what to eat, and what to avoid, which of course is the most important thing. Equally as important as where to pick up a hooker. I don't know why I always mention hookers on this channel, I'm sorry. And throughout this video I'm going to be teaching you random words in Italian, because if there's one thing you should know when you travel to Italy, it's that they only speak Italian. Fai attenzione. Alright, so odds are you're going to be landing at Fiumicino International Airport. It's kind of far from where you want to be. So, if you're rich, take a cab. About 40 euro flat rate to any part of where you want to be in Rome. But if you want to save a euro or two, take the train from the airport to Termini Station. Now that's about a 40, 45 minute train ride through the Roman suburbs and it'll leave you right there, but it'll only cost you about 12 euro. So from Termini, it's a really short cab ride to anywhere where you should be staying in Rome. And where did I stay? At the Hotel Primavera in the Campo de Fiore neighborhood in Rome. The hotel is actually literally one block from a really popular piazza or plaza called the Piazza Navona. Besides being a manageable walking distance from monuments such as the Parthenon and the Trevi Fountain, Campo de Fiore is also a very good neighborhood because it has a very good market. Despite how big Rome seems on a map, it's actually quite small. There's a penis joke somewhere there, I know it. Scherzo penne. Which is actually a great thing because it makes Rome very walkable, especially if you're staying in a neighborhood like Amplifiori, you can access just about any part of Rome that you want to see by foot. All right, so you've dropped your bags in Campo de Fiori and now you want to know where to eat. Now in Rome you can eat just about anywhere but it's what you eat that's important. You have not done Rome properly unless you've eaten two things. Cacio e pepe and porchetta. The fact that something so simple like cacio e pepe can be so good is really a testament to Roman cuisine. And you can find it just about anywhere. But porchetta, mamma mia porchetta. Glorioso porchetta. You know, it's all right. Nah, no bullshit, it's fucking amazing. You need to have porchetta when you go to Rome. But there's one problem. The best porchetta actually comes from Roman suburbs, like rural towns, and they have to bring it into Rome because it is a slow-cooked pig. So in order to really get good porchetta, either you go to those rural towns outside of Rome or you really gotta look around. Luckily, I find a trattoria right next to the Parthenon where they have awesome porchetta. All right, you got a belly full of porchetta and cacio e pepe, now what are you gonna do? The most important thing, and any Roman will agree, is to take Rome slowly. Roma si gusta lentamente. So what do you do? Walk around, enjoy the monuments, grab a bite of something delicious, eat it at a piazza, take it all in, and repeat. All right, you're looking good, you wanna go out, you wanna get laid, where do you go? Right along the banks of the Tiber River and on the western side of Rome, you're gonna find the pseudo-hipster neighborhood of Trastevere, and that's where you're gonna find the best bars and some of the best clubs. Most importantly, a lot of Romans actually hang out there, so you don't get that whole tourist crap that you'll get in other places. And there's one bar in particular that you should go to. Frenne e frizione. Now I know what you're thinking. What the fuck does that mean? break and clutch. Before you ask, why the fuck would anybody name it that? And do they actually sell car parts there? Just know, it's a great bar. E due birra e una prostituta, per favore. But if hanging out with Romans isn't your thing, I suggest going to Sharivari by the Parthenon. Or of a touristy joint, or of a club, but definitely fun and open late. Now, people who follow me know that I'm not one to talk about museums or tour guides. You want to know about that? Well, watch Rick Steves. Damn you, Rick Steves. Instead, I like to live like a local when I travel and visit a place. But that said, you do absolutely have to visit places like the Roman Colosseum, the Roman Forum, the Parthenon, even the Trevi Fountain. 
But my bonus tip for this video is this. Rome has a crazy, inexplicable energy late at night. I'm talking early morning hours late, like four in the morning. Check out all those monuments, piazzas, fountains, late at night, four or five in the morning, and you will truly be alone with the beautiful city of Rome. You'll get a true, beautiful, unique, almost eclectic and enigmatic Roman experience. Well guys, there you have it. My breakdown of Roma. So if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe below. Iscrivite. Per favore. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Ile face buche, ile Instagram. Pizza, 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 pizza. Catch you guys next time. Ciao.